Hi all, my name is Jim Barish, also known as CRPG Nut, and in several short tutorial videos I will be guiding you through the most important features of Dream Matrix's RPG title, Wave of Darkness. In Wave of Darkness you can move your character using three methods. You can move your character using the WASD control screen on the keyboard, you can use point and click with a mouse, or you can press and hold the mouse button and your player will follow it around. It's quite easy and will be familiar to most players. In order to find your way around the world of NAR, you will have to use the map because simply put, NAR is huge. The map is opened by pressing the map key. The default key is the letter M on your keyboard. When you open the map, it will display your position in the world and you can zoom in and zoom out of the map by using the slider on the bottom of the map interface or by using your mouse wheel. Also, by clicking on the Filters button in the bottom right corner of the map's panel, you will open the filter options where you can turn on or off the icons on the map, which designate points of interest for the player. During your adventures in Wave of Darkness, you will stumble upon a lot of items. And when I say a lot, I do really mean a lot. In the beginning of the game, you won't have much room in your inventory, so you will need to visit a merchant in order to sell some of the items you have found. But there is good news. You can expand your inventory with bags. Just visit the merchant and purchase one of the bags he sells. When you put a bag in your inventory, select it and right click on it, which will destroy the bag and expand your inventory. Note that not all bags are the same. Some offer more slots to expand than others. In order to drop an item out of the inventory, simply select the item and drag it out of the inventory window. Note that you cannot do this with quest and special items. Some items are needed to finish various quests and tasks. These items cannot be dropped. Also, sometimes you will not be able to unequip various items. These items are cursed. They look like normal or magical items, but they carry curses with them. Once equipped, you will see an icon in your HUD which will indicate you have picked up a cursed item. At that moment, the curse becomes active and the item cannot be removed unless you visit the shrine of a good god, Zverog, Velus, or Perun. Curses range from those that prevent you to regenerate health or faith, to those that destroy your ability to cast spells, or even those that remove all your resistances, making you helpless in any magical fight. Cursed items can be identified the same way players use to identify magical items, by visiting Oracle Stones. Players can find various magical items too. One example of such items are blessed items. These items are blessed by one of the three main gods, Perrin, Svarog, or Velus, and they give players additional bonuses at the cost. Each item has a blessing that lasts up to one hour of gameplay. Once a blessing runs out, the item behaves as a normal non-magical item. Blessings can be recharged using god shrines that are placed throughout the wilderness. Dream Matrix has added additional data about weapons such as bonus weapon type versus creature, bonuses to critical hit chance, whether you're using small weapons such as one-handed swords, maces, axe, knives, etc., or large weapons, stays, pole arms, two-handed weapons, and more. Minimal requirements are needed to use certain items too, such as ability scores, character level, or skill level. Also, some items can be used only by characters of a certain race or gender. Some items have magical bonuses which draw their power from certain relics. Players can have up to four such relics active at any given time. These relics improve all items' special bonuses. For example, let's say you have a long sword of fire which causes plus five fire damage on each hit. If this sword is empowered using a jewel skull relic, your sword will now cause plus 10 fire damage. If you have two skulls, plus 15 fire damage, etc. Up to plus 25 fire damage, if you have four such relics. There are over 20 types of relics scattered throughout the world and thousands of items, practically all equipable items, that can be empowered using such relics. This means all swords and axes and other weapons, armors, helmets, pants, boots, rings, necklaces, shields, and many other items can be empowered this way. The catch is that they do not all use the same relic to empower them, so you'll have to choose whether you wish to empower your weapons or your armors or perhaps a magical ring. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is CRPG Nut, and see you next time.